Okay, for this game, I'm going to show up close so you get a really good sense of where my eyes are. Because this, in this one, it's important that you hold your eyes very still while your head is moving. So this is really good for improving your balance. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to hold the ball in front of me here. And I've got the number 12. I'm going to lock on to the number 12. And the rest of it is drawing a box with my nose. So let me just start with my nose down. So I'm along the bottom part of the box there. We're going to go sideways, up the side of the box, along the top of the box, down the other side. Trying to keep my eyes locked on the 12 the whole time. Seeing it precisely with my vision. It's 112. It's not blurry. It's not turning into two 12s. And then the reverse. Being really clear about that corner. So we're not just blurring it all together, right? That'll make you dizzy for sure. So we're trying to find the corner and pause just for a moment to make it really clear that you finished that line. And you're going in both directions. With this one, there's nothing to really say out loud. There's plenty to focus on to hold your vision on that 12 or on whatever letter number you have while your head is moving. So it might be a new skill for you. So a couple of words to help you. One is that listen to your body. If you start to feel dizzy or nauseous, you're probably playing either too fast or you're moving your head in too big of range of motion. So make it smaller, make it slow, learn the skill. It might be like the first time you've ever practiced holding your eyes still while your head is moving. Certainly we do this in our day and our regular activities, but as a game, as a drill, it might be new for you to repeat and reinforce that. So if you get dizzy or nauseous, slow down, make your range of motion smaller. You're just looking to play for up to a minute. This one doesn't last very long, but it's very powerful. So my challenge for you is to actually pick an activity that you really love to do. Maybe you like to walk, maybe that you, you ride a bike, you do any kind of other physical activity. Do that activity for four or five minutes and then do this exercise and then go back to that activity and see if you can notice a difference in how your body is performing. Sort of a before and after challenge. So again, you're not playing for much, just up to a minute and then you try an activity, play the game, retry the activity. So you can get a sense of maybe what's changing in your body as a result of doing the exercise. If you have any questions about this or any of the games that I show, please let me know. I'm always happy to help. Go give it a try.